Thanks, Ace. Have a and hey, guys, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am your host, Scott Ramp. I'm also your host, Noel McAvoy. That was Ace Half Adam Night on piano. Ace Half, what song is that? That is the theme to Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It's Remember so, I did Voyager yeah. Monday, <laughs> so I wanted It's to so beautiful. It. I li- I feel like I'm in space. Yeah. Still, <laughs> still, I feel like I'm in space. It's just great. I Thank like you. that. All those soft uh, up notes. For yeah. Sure. Happy Friday, everyone. TGIF. Yes, I'm so glad it's Friday. Me too. Um, so uh, last night I uh, had the pleasure of going to uh, Mary Poppins. Oh, and how I, was and it? And took my mom. Oh. Uh, well, I I don't know. Like for me, um, like it was Mother's Day last Sunday, mm-hmm. and I told my mom, "Hey, listen, let's go see this play on Mother's Day." He's like, "No, we're gonna have our uh, family my, time. We're gonna have um, Danica's birthday. My niece is okay. her her granddaughter's birthday on that particular day." He's like, "Okay, then let's make plans for Thursday." And then my sister's like, "Oh, you gonna watch my kid?" I was like, "No, no, no. I made plans with Scott to yeah. go oh, watch the good. play." Oh, good. And he's like, "You can't just like do that. You can't yeah, just, like, you can't just try to pawn your kid off on your mom when no. you made plans with." But anyways, for me, uh, I think the perfect Mother's Day gift is the the um is the is an experience. Not I agree. it's not a gift gift. Because if you give him like if you give him stuff, it's just like oh thanks. It'll just fall and just or like or they'll lose it or they'll break it. Or if you give him a card, they'll eventually throw it. But away. memories last forever. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys, we have a great show for you. We have got uh, Ashley Brooks here from yes. the Watson Children's Shelter. She's going to talk to us all about Bike for Shelter here in a few minutes. Cool. We've got community events for Friday and music for Saturday. Yeah. And I got a couple um, yeah. clips I have for you guys ready today. And of course, it is Friday, and every Friday we have Flagship Friday, mm-hmm. which promotes the Flagship Friday video of the week. Which is basically all the after school programs that I do with all the kids at Helgate High School, Washington Middle School, and CS Porter, in which we make, it's, it's a movie making after school program. So we just make movies and mm-hmm. learn about making movies and definitely learn some editing and cool things about how the movie making process works. It's true. Yep. Yeah. And, and you'll we, see that later in the show. Yeah. But of course, um, if you haven't already known that Bernie Sanders was in town just this Wednesday, mm-hmm. and of course, uh, our very own Ron Scholl got a little, uh, got a little taste of um, oh, Bernie Sanders. And um, he's, uh, you know, Kind of like maybe a salty old man taste flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your moment of zen. Here's a moment of zen that um, provided by uh, Ron Show, but of course you can watch the whole program. I believe it's on our video on demand page on MCAP, but I'll show you a bit after this. I understand very well that in Montana, Kentucky, West Virginia, states throughout this country, that transition will hurt a number of working people. But here is my promise. We are not going to leave those workers behind. All they are trying to do is earn enough living to take care of their families. We are going to protect them. In our legislation, the most sweeping climate change legislation ever offered in the Senate, we provide 41 billion dollars to rebuild communities and create jobs all right so of course bernie sanders was uh here in missoula just this last wednesday and you know he was talking about um you know what you know he's he's campaigning yeah and of course he's uh, probably so that and that moment that he was talking about um he was talking about you know wanting to replace all the fracking and all the oil companies yes. with solar power companies and so he was talking about be, protecting those workers still and not you know turning them from oil people into yeah. solar people but of course so um you want to find out where you can watch this whole entire um speech his whole all the process all all the all the additional people who had a talk before bernie of course <laughs> one of them was bob giordano's and i'm surprised he didn't mention um um, that y- you should free donate. Yeah. Free cycles. Yeah. No, that you should donate to free cycles. Of course, he was gonna mention free cycles, but he didn't mention his uh, um, how you could raise money for free cycles and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So I watched the um, I watched it uh, live via YouTube, and it was f- by this one person. Oh, it yeah. was so weird. It was like it was like a private individual who was live streaming it. Oh, and it was so distracting because they were doing like these weird cut out hands I and like saw a fake that. wig and stuff, and they put it on top of his head. And it was just like. I can't watch this anymore. So I went to the KUCI um, live stream because I think they would do it a little more professional. Oh, yeah, of course. The news <laughs> met some random guy. But let's show you guys where you can see the uh, whole Bernie speech and, of course, all the other speeches. It, but, of course, you can speed up and go right through them. So you go to our website, MCAT.org, and I'll zoom in just nicely if you go to channel 190. So it's at MCAT.org. You click on it. It brings you to this nice page. And, of course, he is right there on the front page. So you just click on it. And you can watch the whole entire meeting on there anytime. 
at your That's leisure. That's great. Yep. But That's of course, awesome. um, let's do some more social, social, social networking. You can also <laughs> like us on Facebook. You could also follow us on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. Wake Up Missoula also has a Twitter. You no can way. Like us at, at Wake Up Missoula. We also have a Facebook. You can like us on there. And to find out more information about us, go to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. Yes, it's so, so nice. So nice. We named it twice. <laughs> or we make you write it out twice because that's it's the only cool. way you can go there. Besides going on the Google to figure it all out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but I do have one more clip. I have a clip to show just okay. to kind of like, since we're kind of on the gear of more like government type stuff. And this is uh, from City Club. And um, it's, it's a really short clip, so we'll get through this. So if there's, if there's room for compromise, I think there's that opportunity. I don't think there's been a compromise proposed to date through this process that exists today. And my concern with another process apart from this is that we'll, we'll simply kind of continue to drag out a process that will result in the same product. And again, they've applied for a full demolition permit, not a partial demolition permit. And that's where it stands. Okay. All right. So. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that's what they were talking about the Merck, and they're talking about the demolition process. And of course, um, the lady that was just speaking, she is from, um, she was with the Save the Merck campaign as well. And the mayor is just like, I, I think at this point, the mayor is just kind of like, hey, listen, like, no, like, we want to do something with the site where the Merck's at, and nobody has proposed anything to improve it. It's been six years. Like I mean, like I, I, I've, I've yeah. mentioned this before. And of course, I don't want to get like too like hot topic about it. Like whatever. People will hate us. Yeah. We can't be against the Merck. That's like being against Missoula. <laughs> 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 Even though, but I just don't want to see Marriott go in there. I don't. I don't want to see a five star Marriott. Well, we already have hotels and stuff. Yeah, we, we already have yeah, hotels no. down. I agree. They should do something with it. But a five star Marriott. Come on, you guys, get a little more creative. Yeah. But I, I think they're at the point where there's like nothing is still nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, uh, let's talk a little bit about weather. It is currently 45 degrees outside, but of course it, it is breezy, which definitely makes it feel a lot colder. Yes. You can expect your high to be 63 tonight, um, but of course your low is going to be 39. And, and of course Saturday is going to be the same, but of course by Saturday night you can expect some rain coming in. With all that wind blowing, all that, all those uh, cumulonimbus clouds and all that stuff, I'm trying to sound smart, there's all that stuff. Well, I hope it doesn't rain on Saturday because I graduate from college on Saturday. It, it's always windy and there's always like a bunch of chairs that just get blown out of proportion. That's terrible. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna show you this one clip and this is from, I believe it's the, uh, those Missoula County Dems, those wacky okay. Dems, and they're talking about, um, I think it's mentoring individuals returning from prison. And That's when we important. come back, we'll have uh, Ashley. Ashley Brooks, yeah. Thanks, Lori. Hi, thank you guys for being here. Um, super nervous. <laughs> and I've done this before too, but it's always pretty nerve wracking when I come up here. So, um, I've been uh, in and out of institutions um, since forever, you know. Um, I decided that I wanted to straighten my life out in 2005, but I was also coming into it with a lot of stigmas placed on me. I was a single mother living in poverty, double felon. I had a nasty drug addiction, and I was clueless on how to make it out on my own. Um, Unfortunately, there were no mentors for me to look forward to. I, I had to do it pretty much on my own, and it's very hard to um, convince yourself that you can do it, that you, know, that you have a fighting chance, when you're sitting across the table from somebody who just doesn't get it. They've never experienced homelessness. They've never experienced the tragedy and, and the trauma of addiction. Hey, we're here here with Ashley Burke, and she's here to talk for a Bike for Shelter, and she's with the Watson's Children's Shelter. Yes. So when is Bike for Shelter? So Bike for Shelter is this Saturday, May 14th. Registration starts at 8 a.m., and the bike ride officially starts at 9.30. Okay, perfect. And so what's going to happen at Bike for Shelter? Um, well, it's a really cool event. So like I said, there'll be a bike ride, an 11-mile, and then a 2-mile for those little feet that can't quite go that far. Um, what's really cool about our bike ride this year is we'll actually be using the new bike trail. So the one that rides right next to the highway. So nice. it should be really good. Um, um, we're just excited that 
that'll um, be there. And then the other cool thing about the ride itself is we're actually gonna be going shelter to shelter. So often people don't know that there's two shelters here um, that are Watson Children's Shelters. Um, and so we'll get a chance to see both of those. Cool. And what does the Washington Children's Shelter do? Watson Children's Shelter is a temporary emergency home for children who have experienced abuse, neglect, abandonment, or a family crisis. Um, we provide everything that every other child receives outside of the shelter, meaning dental care, trips to the dent or the dentist, um, the doctor, mm -hmm. um, help with homework, a warm bed, a comfortable place to sleep, everything of that nature. That's awesome. And so all of your proceeds from this event is going to go towards that? Yep. It'll um, go directly to helping those kids. Nice. That's awesome. mm -hmm. So um, what other um, programs are teaming up with you guys? Uh, what are your, some of your sponsors? Sure. We have MRL. Um, they're one of our key sponsors. They also put on a delicious barbecue. So another big part of our event. So you'll come mm -hmm. enjoy some um, barbecue and music on the lawn um, provided by MRL. Cool. That's awesome. And so you guys have like games or activities going on too? Yeah, there's a huge carnival. Um, there's also Jolly Jumpers. We have a new Jolly Jumper this year. We're really excited. Um, so it's a big obstacle course. Um, I don't think it'll be timed, but you know you can see how fast she can get through. Could be nice. fun. That's and sweet. there's also uh, miniature horses. <laughs> our mascots there. A lot of our favorite mascots. So Monty will be there. Slash Ollie Osprey. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, and then balloons, face painting, cotton candy. Um, just as much as as excitement as we could put in there. Um, and this has been going on for uh, quite some time now. This whole bike for shelter because I. I don't remember a time when it wasn't really going on. <laughs> yeah. It feels like it's been going on forever. Uh, it's in its 16th year, which we can hardly <coughs> believe. Um, the event has evolved so much. Um, and to the shelter itself, the event means two different things. Um, for key staff and the board of directors and other stakeholders, it means um, providing for those kids. And for the kids themselves, it means a party on their front, front lawn that everybody comes out to. Cool. That's awesome. And it's going to be at the beautiful Fort Missoula, of course. Yep, right across um, from Community Medical and their parking lot there. Okay, so it starts at 8 a.m. and it's tomorrow mm -hmm. Fort Missoula. At Fort Missoula. Cool. Registration open at 8. Where can people find out more information about you guys? At bikeforshelter.com. All right, Perfect. cool. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh, no, we'd just love to see the entire community out there. Yeah, right. awesome. Thank you very yeah, much, of course. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. All right, and what you just see here is playing tonight at 9.30 on channel 189 or MCAT.org. So, you guys, I've got community events for you. This is what's going on uh, for Friday. So, everything that I have is going to be all Friday and then just Saturday night community events. So, Tiny Tales is at the Missoula Public Library at 10.30 a.m. this morning. This is a program that is for babies ages birth through three years. They sing songs, they hear nursery rhymes and stories and finger plays and do some fun activities. Also at the Missoula Public Library and also at 10.30 is Family Story Time. This is for a bit of an older crowd. It's a themed story on the dragon rug and it usually includes songs and an art activity. Preschool Playgroup is over at Roots Acro Sports Center at 11. Uh, this is for uh, walking to five years. And they set up different activities and stations around the gym, and parents and children get to rotate and choose what they want to do. Over at Spectrum Discovery Area, starting at 11, uh, their Discovery Bench is Fractals. Um, and their Shakespeare First Folio Weekly Activity Theme is Constellations. And then their brain lab is Shakespearean Brain Miladies, and their first folio weekly activity is 
brain diseases of Shakespeare's characters. Brain, my lady. Brain, brain, my lady. <laughs> Sorry. You're my butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> you might need a sectarium. <laughs> Upstairs, next doors. <laughs> We're just rapping over here. I was just, you know, <laughs> About Shakespeare. <laughs> as much as that one band actually rapped. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys don't know, uh, Shakespeare's book of all of his plays that were written after, that was compiled, well, they were written and well, then compiled into a book he, he after wrote his him, death. Then he died, and then of course, uh, the the owner, the people of his estate were just like, okay, we got to um, compile all the collections mm-hmm. of all his writings. Well, I think it, like all his popular writings mm-hmm. and all that stuff, um, and put it into a folio. Yeah, and there was only I believe there was only seventy nine mm-hmm. made of the first folio ever. Oh wow! And of course, um, there's only twenty three known in existence, and the Montana Museum of Art and Culture here in the Park TV building at the University of Montana has it and I went yeah. to see it yesterday and I was like oh cool is and, it awesome yeah and the, and the page is turned to Hamlet's most famous speech oh cool very cool so that is going to be there until the end of the month till yep. May 31st so you guys go there and get your history on yeah 400 years old well nearly whatever Super you know cool. you get the gist a couple of hundred years old it's still pretty sweet yeah. it's still really sweet you can see Shakespeare handwriting <laughs> what a great guy Okay, we're moving on. All right, so over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, starting at 11, they've got their beanbag toss. Um, and then at the Missoula Public Library at 12 is watercoloring with our homeboy, Rob P. Uh, this is for those 18 and up, 12 to 2, uh, and that'll be in the large meeting room. Yarns is also at the Public Library at noon. That is going to be in the boardroom. This is for knitters and crocheters to get together and, you know, craft and eat their lunch and gossip. Which that sounds like a ton of fun. And we're going to continue to stay at the Missoula Public Library with Teen Writers Group. That's at 3.30 in the small meeting room. This is for teens who uh, need some feedback or inspiration or a place to go, to hang out, stay out of trouble. Uh, that goes until about 5.30. And then across the street, over at the Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium, they're feeding that crazy spider again. Rosie the Chilean Rosehair Tarantula, every Friday at 4. She eats a lot. Um, okay, over at Tense Food Vineyard and Winery, they've got a wine tasting and live music by Headwaters. It starts at 4. At 4.30 is Ula at the Barn Movement Studio. And then at 5, uh, we go over to the Missoula Public Library again for intro to Java programming for teens. Uh, so this is open to those ages 13 to 18. You can call 721-2665 to sign up. Over at Imagination Brewing Company at 5.30, we've got a uh, community art for a good cause. So it's No Safe Sallies, and they're going to step out of the ordinary to do something extraordinary together. I don't know what No Safe Sallies is, but it sounds like a really fun group. So $15, and then $10 goes to Guts, which is girls using their strengths. And at girls using their strengths, they actually uh, have a poetry slam tonight. I've got a little video of them uh, promoting their poetry slam. She'll show that uh, in a little while. But that's this evening, and you'll find out more information. Uh, over at the Zootown Arts Community Center, they've got a free silk screening night starting at 5.30. You can come in with uh, any type of material fabric that you want to and print something on there. Over at Vaughn Common, that is located at 100 Johnson, number 7, that's off of uh, Wyoming Street, a few blocks west of Home Resource. They're having their Prom Common Horror Prom. So Vaughn Common is an like artist collective. They uh, often put on shows as well as they do horror, com, horror prom. So this is their third annual. And so uh, they are, will be featuring over 25 artists, musicians, and performers interpreting horror in many different ways. Yeah, so it's from 6 to 11, and dressing up is encouraged. We've got some music for this evening. Oh, oh the Dodgy Mountain Men are going to be behind the old post starting at 6 p.m. So if you guys have never been able to go to those concerts outside the old post on Friday nights in the summer, they're a lot of fun. They've got some beers, and uh, so you can drink some brew and go and listen to Dodgy Mountain Men. So that'll be at 6. That's going to be great. Over the Downtown Dance Collective, they've got their second annual Missoula Tango Marathon. Uh, it's, this is going to be all weekend long. It's a jam-packed weekend of Argentinian tango, including six milongas, three da- technique classes, live tango music, a mixer, a music jam, and men's and women's socials. Woo! Yeah. 
Over at the Montana Distillery, Little Gladys will be playing at 6. There'll be traditional Irish music at the Union Club at 6. Nitro Circus, which is a, uh, it's like a extreme athlete motorcycle, you know, freestyle competition. Uh, that's going to be at Aura, the, uh, the baseball field where the Osprey play at 7 p.m. So it's like 30 of the world's best extreme athletes in motocross, BMX, and anything you can imagine with wheels. That's going to be pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, I can totally see Mozilla like um, banning the uh, motorized devices because they produce carbon. Yeah, probably. Yeah, tra- tear up the field, but I'm sure they'll be fine. No, I think it's mostly for like, oh, it's, it's not carbon neutral. You can't ride your bike and do nitros and stuff. That's so silly. Well, you know, like this is the first year this, uh, the Shriner Circus is without uh, the animal acts. I know. I know. I wonder how many people that drew or pulled away. I'm no. curious. I'm curious to see their numbers from last year to this year without but If you animals. want to donate to the Shriner's Hospital, you can uh, log on to their website. Yes, yep. you can. <laughs> okay, over at the Public Library at 7 is Worldwide Cinema. They're going to be watching Second Coming from the United Kingdom. Uh, Mary Poppins is still playing at MCT. This starts at 7.30. Uh, over at the Old Beck, Old Beck VFW at 8 is a uh, comedy tour. A couple people from Missoula and Bozeman. It's only $3.00. Little Smokies are playing at the Wilma Theater at 8. Uh, Fishbowl Friday is going to be at Monk's at 9. They have $5 fish bowls, and you can make mistakes for free. Uh, the Sunrise Saloon hosts Ryan Larson Band at 9.30. Russ Nassa and the Revelators are at the Union Club at 9.30. Uh, and Sean James and the Shapeshifters with In the Whale will be at Stage 112 at 10. So that's what's going on in your community for your Friday. Up next, we're switching gears, and we're having musical notes with Ace Half and I. This is gonna be a delightful story here. <clears throat> We're talking about probably the best child singer in history. Her name is Charlotte Maria Reed, known to the world as Charlotte Church. Charlotte Church is a Welsh singer, songwriter, actress, television presenter. She rose to fame, there she is there, that was her first album, we'll get to that in a moment. She rose to fame in childhood as a classical singer before branching into pop music in 2005. In 2007, she sold more than 10 million records worldwide as a child. It's a pretty good accomplishment there, including 5 million in the United States. And she was born in, I think it's pronounced the Landaff District of Cardiff Wells, where she was born. And how she got started, her big break came at the age of 11 when she sang P. Heisu, the um, Andrew Lloyd Webber P. Heisu, over the telephone. She sang this song over the telephone over a television show called This Morning <laughs> yeah, in 1997. And she got picked up just from that singing there. And there she is on the piano there. She's also a classical singer. She can sing in English, Welsh, Latin, Italian, and French. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. Not, very, not very many children can do that. Her first album was called Voice of an Angel. It was a collection of arias and sacred songs, traditional pieces, which again sold millions worldwide, and it landed number one on the British classical crossover charts. She appeared on PBS doing concerts there, and um, then of course this little DV, uh, this CD or VHS that I have on the piano, it came out in 2000 called Dream a Dream. It's just a collection of Christmas carols that she sang in the Holy Land in Jerusalem. Pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah, just just a bunch of songs like um, the first Noel, Noel, <laughs> <laughs> and Ave Maria and Oh Holy Night and some of those fun songs there. And she made her film debut singing the soundtrack in 2001 to Ron Howard's A Beautiful Mind with Russell Crowe, the actor. Mm-hmm. She did the soundtrack to that. And um, just a beautiful voice that this young woman has. She is 30 years old now, still singing, and she's got a long way to go. And finally, this young girl has appeared before Pope John II, Pope John Paul II, Queen Elizabeth II. Prince of Wales and President Bill Clinton. So that's not that's not bad to be that young and get those kind of opportunities in life. It's when true. I was her age, I was watching Star Trek yeah, instead right. of singing in front of the Queen of England. So 
that's just a pretty amazing accomplishment yeah. for this young woman. So I want to nice. do a little tribute to her. Thanks, Asaph. That was awesome. Sure. That was musical notes with Asaph Adonai. And so up next, I want to show you guys uh, the girls using their strengths video. They've got a poetry slam tonight. Mm. And so uh, this is their little vid promoting that. Hello! Fourth and fifth grade Guts Girls at Russell School. Guts is a program of the Missoula YWCA and it stands for the girls using their strengths. What? A poetry slam. May 13th, 6.30 to 7.30. Yeah! Why? It's a benefit for ABC Ministries in Swaziland, an organization that cares for abandoned babies and finds a home. How? We are raising money to send to ABC Ministries through admission, donations, and a bake sale at the Poetry Slam. Students and teachers will read their favorite poems in the Russell School Gymnasium. Join us! And those are the girls using their strengths. That is a program uh, sponsored by YWCA to help girls, you know, be in strong, independent women that they are. Yeah. yeah. Woo! So that's Poetry Slam. Very adorable that it's tonight. But what I've got for you guys now is Saturday music. So this is music going on tomorrow. Um, also, you guys, tomorrow's graduation, and I graduate from college, and I'm very excited. Yes, you been, should be excited. It's been many years of late nights, early mornings, tears, stress, homework, finals. And it all works out to, um, now what? I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill for the <laughs> summer, and then when fall comes around, I'm going to figure it out. Cool. Yeah. So I can't wait, but this is what's happening tomorrow. Yep. Okay, so starting at four is a wine tasting over at Tense Food Vineyard and Winery and live music by Charla and Friends. Great. Andrea Harsell will be playing at the Highlander Tap Room at six. That's uh, located on 200 International Way. John Floridas will be playing at Imagination Brewing Company at 6 p.m. Kevin Van Dort will be at Bricks and Browns at six at the Holiday Inn. <coughs> uh, let's see. Nomads will be live in Missoula at Monks at 9. That's some hip-hop. Grit and Friends will be at Stage 112 at 9. Absolutely with Chris Moon at the Badlander at 9. Band in Motion at Dark Horse at 9.30. Uh, Cash for Junkers at the Union Club at 9.30. Ryan Larson Band will be again at the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. Uh, Shakewell and Sweatshop Sneakers are releasing an album. That's their party at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. And then TBA.01 at the Real Lounge will be at 10, a 10 p.m. Yeah, so that's what's going on in your community. As always, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, or the Missoulian for more events. Yep. But um, we'll be back right after this art clip by our very own Rick Phillips. <laughs>
course, you can see that at the Missoula Art Museum. Um, pretty much anytime, anywhere, but of course, it'll end on the 26th. And of course, I did get a chance to go to the uh, the Gallery of the Visual Arts in the Social Science Building at the University of Montana. They're cleaning that up a little bit. It's pretty nice. It's the um, BFA, Matt, um, BFA mm -hmm. uh, Bachelors of Fine Arts um, students uh, and all their paintings and sculptures and um, gimmick things. I, yeah. I saw uh, uh, beats, you know, like Honest. graded beats, and oh, really? was cleaning the floor, and I was like, uh, I just kind of stood there, and, and it was, I, I, I was. I was gonna say excuse me, but it was just kind of like it kind of they saw me, but they yeah. just completely ignored me. How huh, weird! It was like rude. So, anyways. Well, what did you want from them? I just wanted to walk right past them to oh, see their art museum. But they were in the way. They were in the way. And they didn't move. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. yeah. You could have been like, "Yo, I would like to look." And like I was standing there, and they were just like talking, like blatantly ignoring me. You should have just said excuse me. I should have just said that. That's what I always do. All right. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> be loud and get in there. All right. Anyways, uh, we have uh, uh, because oh wait no no let's let's wait Flex Your Friday for just a second because I do want to talk about um, a little bit of some city council and of course this land use and planning began with a referral of a new Southgate Mall. Mm -hmm. um, they're about the renovations and updates mm -hmm. and they're building onto it. They're making Bob Ward's and Son a little bit bigger and and of course this is the South uh, the, this is the request from Southgate Mall by uh, Jeremy Keen and um, B J uh, Grieve of W G M group, the uh, owners of Southgate Mall, for a um, conditional use expansion of the existing enterprise commercial use on property mm -hmm. located um, at 90, 2901 Brook Street, other, otherwise known as 93. But anyways, um, the Southgate Mall, the proposed expansion is for new nineplex movie theater, oh um, lifestyle retail, an outdoor pedestrian plaza, uh, and in addition to the Bob Wharton's Bed Bath & Beyond Complex. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I mean... Oh, and also the uh, road that goes um, through, like, Mary Street. Yeah. You know that, um... Because um, it's off a of reserve. It's, you know, like, if you're driving up, um, like, I guess between, like, the exact center between the mall and Bob Wars and all that stuff, they're trying to expand that street past the railroad track, so there's another entryway to get to the mall. That's a good idea. Those roads are not very clearly defined. I find myself, like, not driving in the right direction. Yeah, they got permission from uh, Montana Railing. says, like, yeah, you can do that, whatever, I don't care, cool. just as long as you don't disrupt the, um... The, the train or the flow of the train or whatnot. Yeah. Um, the people, the residents, of course, have been complaining about it and whatnot. You know, the people who live in that general vicinity. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so weird because like there's so many like little pockets of Missoula uh -huh. that are still kind of uh, left alone and just kind of left as is. But then once this kind of thing happens, you hear them kind of like come out of the woodworks and complain. Yeah, it's just like the Merc. Yes. <laughs> but the Merc is like in the heart of downtown. It's true. It's something that's been there. It's something people see all the time. And you're just like, is someone going to do something with this? And that's basically me saying, telling this to like Noel or ASF or wh whoever's near me. Especially um, my high school kids when I take Highgate High School kids over here. But speaking of which, uh, I this is um, some of my kids from flagship program. This is featuring the kids from Washington Middle School. And I think this is a perfect time because we just had Bernie Sanders here. And... Uh, you know, the other side is not getting re represented, so I think this is a good representation of the other side. Hi, my name is Tristan, and um, I will be talking to you about the... He is amazing. A true patriot. We all think he's amazing and should be our Lord and Savior. He is the master of suspense, the, s the salt of saltiness, the beautiful of God. I'm just gonna build up, and he is the only Donald Trump. I can remember Don Trepp is my hero. Television's better. He's like the YouTube comment section. Negative, but true. I'm not afraid to ask the hard questions. Who, maybe what, and sometimes why. There's a lot of people that say Trump isn't a good person, and I'll have to say to that is, 
They're jealous. Hey, we're just jealous. For Trump, winning isn't winning. Winning is winning. Hey, you want to go out with the guy who loves Donald Trump? Trump is a real icebreaker. Who are you talking to? See you at Trump o'clock. I model myself after the great and lord of Trump. Why won't my hair come over like he does? Don't worry, you're beautiful, just like Trump. Wait, who are you? I'm the essence of Trump, the person that you want to be, the person that you know you will be. I think I know who I am more than I do. I'm sorry, I should have never doubted you. You're smart, beautiful. You're, you're the most beautiful kid, like Trump. And don't forget it, or you. Or you. Or you. Hey! It's hard being a Trump supporter. But for those who don't vote for Trump, I'll build a wall separating the little kids from the big kids. They make everyone pay it all, except for me. You're just like the US economy. Next page. I'm not here to give problems, only solutions. Which one of you poor people know where the bathroom is? Solution one, Donald. Solution two, Trump. Solution three, Donald Trump. Solution four, repeat solutions one through three. Trump doesn't need money because he already bought your vote. Sometimes I like to go to the zoo. The stairs are for poor people. I like to go up in style. I'm gonna take the elevator. You should come with me since you've been coming, going wherever I go. And to conclude, my conclusion, vote for Trump or you'll be voting for an angry old man or a naggy woman. And vote for Trump because he eats pizza with a fork, which means I eat pizza like a fork. And who doesn't want to be like me or Trump? Vote for, vote for Trump and you'll get forked pizza. Look, Donald Trump, no hands. Wait a minute. Walls. Walls everywhere. All right, so that concludes. <laughs> wow, Trump kid. Trump kid. That was really funny. Did he write that himself? Oh, we worked on it together as That's a group. That's super and just, funny. Like, just think of, I think, think of the rudest things he could possibly think of. Yeah. Like, think what, what would Donald Trump say? What do you think he would say about things? Uh, that was really good. Good job, Trump kids. Yeah. Those kids, they're funny. Some of them are really funny and others are just like... I mean, like, I love the Washington Middle School kids because they're just always like, oh, we're cool to play pretty much any kind of thing. You know, like, if I have a really solid idea, they're just like, oh, that's cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. cute. That's great. I love that. Well, that's your flagship Friday. And, I mean, I'm done on my end. I'm done on my end. Well, you guys. It's Friday. Let's get out and just party and have Woo! a good time. It's it's going to be a little breezy, but why don't you just go fly a kite? Yes, it's yes. true. But, of course, to find out more information, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.works.com slash wakeupmissoula. You can see um, current videos, past videos, interviews, and, of course, the Flagship Friday video of the week, which will be updated for today. And, of course, you can like us on Facebook. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook. And to find out more information about us, just go to our website, MCAT.org. But, of course, um, if you're still interested in looking at any of our 
program, you can go to channel 189 or 190 on our little tabs bar, and you can watch any of the videos that we just showed you guys here today. So a yes. little bit of Bernie, a whole lot of cello recitals, <laughs> and oh, maybe a little bit of mentoring for people out of jail. <laughs> and also, you guys, uh, tomorrow is our last day for our stop motion animation yes. Saturday drop-ins. So bring your kid by uh, between one and five. It's ten bucks. If you want to stay a half day, it's only five dollars. Yep. We do stop motion animation with Legos and Play-Doh and uh, little animals. And then when they get bored and you know run out of their attention, we do live action stuff. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I want to thank Ashley Burks for, um, for coming on our show. Oh, Ashley Brooks yep. for coming on our show from the Washington Children's Shelter. It starts tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, bike for Shelter, helping kids um, have a place to go in case of emergency. Yes. All right, without further ado, um, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramph. I'm Noah McAvoy. Here's ASAF Adonai. Mm -hmm.